If you're just joining us, we're talking this morning about a controversial new book from Pulitzer Prize winning author Lawrence Wright, which exposes the history and the inner workings of the Church of Scientology. The book is called Going Clear, Scientology, Hollywood and the Prison of Belief. We just heard a report from CNN's Anderson Cooper. I had a chance to talk with author Lawrence Wright about his book. The book is called Going Clear. What does going clear mean? It's a stage in Scientology and the progress up their ladder. Uh, the idea is that there are two minds. One is a rational mind, analytical, and the other is what they call the reactive mind. And it's full of all the things that cause you fears and neuroses and often triggered by ancient memories. And the goal is to eliminate those memories. When that happens, you go clear, and you then you have these kind of extraordinary powers. You're more intelligent, you never get ill, and you're at peace with the universe and able to control your environment. What do what Scientology and Scientologists have that others don't? So what's the promise at the end of Scientology for people? Well, what you discover inside Scientology, oftentimes in these auditing sessions with an e-meter between the two of you, you might discover a past life. And that comes as great news to a lot of people. It, the idea is that you're immortal. Other people I've spoken to have, in Scientology terms, they've gone exterior. In other words, they've had an out-of-body experience. They've had the sensation of being able to leave their incorporated body and move around the room or even to other planets. If you've had that experience, then the criticism and the logic that others might bring to bear about Scientology is not going to affect you very much because you've had a life-changing experience. It certainly is talked about when you know a celebrity who's also a Scientologist. So what's the answer to that? I mean, clearly they are very aggressive in, in getting celebrities to be Scientologists. Oh, from the very beginning, the church was established in L.A. And the celebrity center there, it was all with the goal of, as L. Ron Hubbard, the founder, said, taking over the entertainment industry. But taking over to what end? Well, if you have somebody of that reputation, it's very appealing to other people. They, you, just as you see with Tom Cruise, I mean, he makes a huge impact in the world as a Scientologist. If you subtracted Tom Cruise and Kirstie Alley and John Travolta and others from the, the list of Scientologists, I don't think people would really know what that organization is. There are people who are celebrities, and I'd say they're maybe less famous than the you know, huge celebrities, who've said Scientology has helped them. I believe Scientology has helped some people. And oftentimes when you're drawn into the church, they ask you, what is your ruin? What is the thing that is spoiling your life that you'd like to change? And you might say, it's my job or my relationship or something like that. And they say, well, we have courses they can help you and they may well help you. I don't dispute that at all. You said though as you go up levels it gets expensive. What do you Very mean by expensive? expensive? I mean to get to the top of the ladder oh, more than half a million dollars. Tell me about the leader David Miscavige. <sighs> He's a very controversial figure in, in Scientology right now. Uh, for years there have been allegations of abuse, physical abuse on his part against the other executives in the church. I talked to 12 people who told me that he, they had been beaten by the leader of the church. Like and physically I, beaten? Physically beaten. I have 20 witnesses who witnessed such attacks. What do you think is the biggest most valid criticism of Scientology. You talk about children being put to work in the book. Yeah. Uh, that's a part of it that disturbs me the most. The exploitation of children and the, what they have a clergy called the Sea Org or Sea Organization. And um, children, very young children, are often... How real, old? Well, some as young as six. They, they sign a contract for a billion years of service. They s essentially surrender any real education uh, they're impoverished by their service. They, they get paid about $50 a week. And, uh, and they're secluded from the world. They say your sources, many of them, are completely unreliable. Yeah, we talked to more than 250 people. I'm not sure exactly which ones they're complaining about. But most of the people I talked to were Scientologists or former Scientologists. Many of them had been at the highest levels of the church. Now, I asked the church repeatedly for the opportunity to talk to other executives and to their leader, David they Miscavige. They absolutely denied me that opportunity.
CNN reached out to the Church of Scientology. They responded to Lawrence Wright's claims of physical abuse, saying this, the stories of alleged physical abuse are lies concocted by a small group of self-corroborating professed liars. The hard evidence clearly shows that no such conduct ever occurred and that, in fact, there is evidence that shows it did not occur. Church of Scientology also responded to Lawrence Wright's allegations about the exploitation of children, saying this, regarding the claim that the church made children work long hours, the church diligently followed and continues to follow all child labor laws in every state or country in which it operates, went on to say their chores never amounted to child labor. We're making the Church of Scientology responses available at CNN.com. Just search under the word Scientology in the search.